When you hear about something trending during March Madness, you think about a big upset on the court or a Cinderella story, but this is trending for all the wrong reasons. Controversy and college sports all surrounding amenities currently available to men's and women's players in the tournament. Fox 61's Ashley Afonso has a reaction from UConn on the matter. As March Madness heats up, so does some controversy in the NCAA. A post has gone viral on social media from a Stanford sports performance coach. In the tweet, she calls out the lack of amenities at the women's basketball tournament compared to the men's, showing a single rack of weights for the women, an entire gym set up for the men. UConn coach Gino Oriema weighing in on the issue while he's still quarantining at home, waiting to join the UConn women at the tournament. It's disappointing when the players, uh, whether they're in Indianapolis or whether they're in San Antonio, feel as though, um, you know, there are things that um, could have been done, should be done, uh, sh should be happening that aren't happening. Um, and it's disappointing to hear that. Hours after the tweet went viral, the NCAA released a statement that reads in part, quote, some of the amenities teams would typically have access to have not been as available inside the controlled environment. She went on to say in part, quote, this is due to the limited space and the original plan was to expand the workout area once additional space was available later in the tournament. But right after that statement was released, Oregon Ducks player Sedona Prince shared this video on TikTok, disputing claims made by the NCAA that there was lack of space. I got something to show y'all. So for the NCAA March Madness, the biggest tournament in college basketball for women, this is our weight room. Let me show y'all the men's weight room. Now, when pictures of our weight room got released versus the men's, the NCAA came out with a statement saying that it wasn't money, it was space that was a problem. Let me show y'all something else. Here's our practice court, right? And then here's that weight room. And then here's all this extra space. If you aren't upset about this problem, then you're a part of it. Coach Oriema saying it certainly doesn't shine a positive light on women's basketball. And it certainly doesn't put us speaking uh, women's basketball particularly, it doesn't put us in the best possible light. Again, um, I'm, you know, I'm not there. I'm not privy to um, any of the, um, any of the details of, um, you know, exactly what, you know, what and how things were put together and why. But from what I see and from what people have put out there, uh, doesn't present a very good picture at all. Several NBA and WNBA players now weighing in on the issue on social media. The NCAA says it's actively working to enhance existing resources at practice courts, including additional weight training equipment. Ashley Afonso, Fox 61 News. The NCAA did apologize and stepped up to rectify the situation for women's players in San Antonio. That same player from the Oregon women's team posted another video to show off the new weight rooms. Guess what, guys? We got a weight room. Yeah! We got a ton more dumbbells. Look at that. Look at all these racks for squats and whatever we want to do. We got a bunch of bands. Look at this, guys. And we got some equipment. Hey, yo, thank you, NCAA, for listening to us. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, for real. Yay, guys! Yay! Yay! And still to